Hello and welcome to Enlightened Words Save Souls Devotion with Rhapsody of Realities. The topic today is the walk of a Christian. I'm going to be coming from Ephesians chapter 4 verse 1. And the devotion reads, I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called. One of the dynamics of Christianity is derived from a very important word from the verse. The word is walk. There's the walk of a Christian. When you're born again, the first thing God wants to help you learn is how to walk in Christ in your daily life. Colossians chapter 2 verse 6 says, As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. How you live every day, how you relate with other people, how you relate with God, and the kind of mind you have, these are very important to God. There's a way a Christian should and must live that distinguishes him or her from a non-Christian. Someone may be born again and not live the Christian life. In fact, there may be some that don't even know what a Christian life really is. But the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 17, This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles, and the vanity of their mind. This is one of the reasons churches and pastors are important. Because the spiritual life requires training. God brings his children into congregations, church assemblies, and gives them pastors after his heart to train them, teach them, and build them through the word. God expects that in the church, every new person that receives Christ, that becomes a member of the church, is trained in the Christian walk. Then he tells us why in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 14 that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and carried about every wind of doctrine by the slate of man and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. In the 15th verse he tells us the end result growth but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ. The Christian walk isn't just for baby Christians. You begin learning it as a new convert. But God expects you to grow unto maturity and become firmly rooted in the faith and live triumphantly every day to the praise and glory of his name. That's the end of the devotion for today. But here is an encouragement prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, through the gospel, we've been separated from the word unto you, from unrighteousness unto righteousness, and from darkness to light. We open up our hearts and mind to be trained and educated in the things of you and through the word and by your spirit we're growing unto maturity firmly rooted in the faith to live triumphantly always in Jesus name Amen now before I go I'm going to extend out the invitation to those that had not yet Receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Remember, it's not by feelings or emotion, but it's by belief and faith, and you must say it with the open heart. Say this prayer after me. O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I believe he died on the cross 
to save my soul. I believe God raised him from the dead. And he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. I receive by faith eternal life into my heart. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I believe I have eternal life now. I am born again. I am a child of God. In Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer behind me, believe me, God heard you. He answered you. And guess what? You are born again. Congratulations. Welcome, welcome, welcome into the kingdom of God. Now, you have to find a Bible-based church that teaches the truth about Jesus' birth, death, and resurrection and the goodness of Him and that you will be under the pastor that is after God's own heart so that you could be trained in what you must do and how to live as a Christian and to grow in maturity in the faith. Until next time, God bless, God loves you, and so do I. Have a great day.